Okay, this is going to be the dumbbell overhead squat. So for this one, it's, it's going to be tough if you don't have the mobility to do it, all right, to get low into the squat, basically, and the shoulder mobility. Um, so one way, I'll show you how to modify it, but basically what it is, you're going to have a dumbbell overhead, and you're going to have it locked out overhead, and then you're going to squat down, all right? So what it looks like is I'm going to have a dumbbell. You can have it turn every one. Your feet, everything's going to be a little awkward as you go down, all right? But it's just a squat from here. So regular squat, keeping my arm locked out, all right? Squatting down, coming up, all right? Side view, squat, coming up, all right? Again, you're gonna need mobility to do this movement, all right? If you don't have it, what I would say is have your dumbbell up and then squat a little bit and then come back down, all right? If you start to feel some pain in your lower back, then just squat a little bit Lean a little bit forward by keeping your dumbbell overhead and pressing straight back up, all right? Or you can go to lighter weight, you can have the dumbbell off your shoulder and then squat and stand it up that way, all right? It'll still work your shoulder and everything, but if you just don't have the mobility in it, that'll be some ways that you can modify this movement. But other than that, you want to keep both feet on the ground, you don't want to come up on your toes, all right? You want to be on that midfoot, you want to squat down. Keep it locked down overhead if you can. Squat all the way down, standing all the way up. All right, not really too much to it.